The Gulf Employment Index by Cooper Fitch has revealed that real estate jobs soared during the second quarter of this year and that there's a shortage in skilled cyber security professionals. Meanwhile, the GCC looks set for a very positive employment year. Joining us now in the studio to discuss more is the founder and CEO of Cooper Fitch, Trevor Murphy. Trevor, great to see you. Thank you. For Thanks for coming in. What were the Thank key you. findings of your latest study? So we've seen very positive growth uh, across the Gulf over the last number of quarters. A slight dip in quarter two over quarter one, um, just, just over 3%. Uh, but we've seen some very positive uh, pockets of growth within that. Um, so Saudi Arabia going, growing by 6%, Qatar growing by just over 2.5%. The other countries slightly under the 4% mark, but overall still a very positive news story. The, the level of employment activity across the UE and, and the greater Gulf is still very strong. What uh, job sectors are the most popular this year at the moment in, in the UAE? So as you mentioned, real estate um, across the Gulf, particularly in Saudi Arabia and the UAE, I think is probably one of the strongest uh, sector growth areas. We've also seen a lot of activity across public sector, and we've seen a really nice bounce back within technology, which has actually been driven at government level across the GCC countries where they're driving the technology transformation of the, from a government point of view, and that's created a significant amount of jobs, particularly in the last three to six months. Did you see um, and identify you know, specific hiring trends both in the, in the government sector and the private sector? Yeah, we've seen public sector grow by just over 12% in this quarter on the previous quarter. So the slightly slower year than expected. Within public sector, we've seen um, significant investment in investment in itself in its own right. Um, education, uh, we've seen a lot of work within driving the education. And again, in transformation and digital transformation of, of the overall public sector uh, entities and each department and ministry in its own in its own uh, in its own right. So again, just a really nice, probably a greater growth in public sector in quarter two over the private sector. Looking ahead to the second half of the year, um, you know, are we seeing a certain you know number of vacancies come up in particular sectors? What should job seekers particularly be looking out for? I think that rebound in technology is really interesting at the moment. Um, cyber, um, cyber security and development or dev are both very much on the up and up and that's across all programming languages. So for people that are very interested in the technology space or are interested in moving here with a tech background, that's a very interesting uh, particular sector. Real estate, uh, again, doing very well. Senior finance doing well. Sales and marketing all doing very well from a, from a job profile point of view. Tell us about the aviation sector particularly because, you know, this week alone we've seen Emirates, you know, particularly open up employment opportunities. Um, are we seeing aviation really picking up now? Yeah, it's, it's significant. It's probably one of the most exciting sectors in the Gulf with, uh, with Riyadh Air and making its recent uh, opening disclosure. Um, very exciting, very exciting that, you know, within, within the Gulf we have three or four airlines that are really considered top 10 uh, globally and then Riyadh Air will have something to say about that. So I think the announcement uh, or the projections for the aviation sector in the Gulf or for over 100,000 jobs in the next 10 years. So that's a, that's a significant number and a very, a very exciting time uh, to be in that sector, particularly after a very difficult couple of years after the pandemic.